It's a sign that decades-old enemies can one day change their tune. That's the U.S. national anthem being played on Cuban soil. As President Obama joined the island's ruler, Raul Castro, in Havana to close out this final chapter of the Cold War. I have to come back to my family when I am no longer president, <laughs> and I don't have so many obligations. While there were the usual diplomatic gestures as Mr. Obama signed a book to remember the pre-Castro revolutionary Jose Marti, the president also delivered a tough message to the Cubans to begin respecting basic <coughs> human freedoms. That Cuba's destiny will not be decided by the United States or any other nation. But Castro had his own set of grievances. Right at the top, the U.S. embargo strangling the Cuban economy that still stands. But he did not answer the question on why his country holds political prisoners. Why do you have Cuban political prisoners? Give me a list of the political prisoners and I will release them immediately. The president is going around Congress to weaken the embargo, loosening travel restrictions on Americans who want to see the island and bringing with him big hotel company CEOs who want to turn Cuban mojitos into money. But just hours before President Obama set foot in Cuba, there was a vivid reminder that changes here won't come quickly as local authorities rounded up a group of protesters known as the Ladies in White. Critics say Mr. Obama is propping up a dictatorship. Unless human rights is at the very top of the agenda, it will have a negative impact and uh, push into the shadows uh, the dissidents, the political prisoners uh, that are still in Cuba today. But even in Cuba's dissident community, there is hope. Jose Daniel Ferrer, a former political prisoner, says the president's visit can provide a much needed push. Freed under the Obama administration's diplomatic breakthrough with Cuba, he's calling on the president to think of Reagan. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And demand that age old barriers start coming down in Cuba. We have to tear down many walls, he tells me, so that the Cuban people can live with dignity.